Hi, I'm Lou Gideon, and this is Tina Gross. And today we're going to be showing you one of the basic wraps from my book, That's a Wrap, 29 Easy and Elegant Head Wrapping Styles for the Tressless Chemo Babe. Now the book has over 190 photos in it that were taken during my cancer journey, and it teaches you everything from how to hold a hair shedding party to how to do the 29 plus wraps. But uh, obviously my hair here has grown back in, so Tina has volunteered to be our Tressless Chemo Babe of the Day. So thank you, Tina. Cool. So we want to start by talking about the material you're going to use, which is Dupioni Silk. We chose a really pretty blue shade for Tina because Tina told me that she's a blue jean wearing kind of gal. So am I. <laughs> and you want to make sure that you pick a shade that's going to go with the majority of your wardrobe. Next, you want to get a measurement of your head. Tina's head measured 23 inches around, so you want to double that number, which gives you enough material to wrap it from back to front and back again. 23 times 2 equals 46. Now, of course, that number will vary depending on the size of your head. Then you'll add another 18 inches, which gives you enough material to hem the ends and still have enough length left over to tie it once and tuck it in. So for Tina, 46 plus 18 equals 64. And that's the length of material you'll need. Remember, you can always trim it if you feel it's a bit too long, but better to have too much than too little. So to recap, the length measurement is the circumference of your head times 2 plus 18 inches, which gave us 64 inches. The next thing is you'll go up to the counter, and now the material comes in 44 inch widths, so you're going to have them cut it down the middle, and that's going to give you two pieces for your head wrap bases, so you get an extra one, which is pretty nice. You also want to purchase a little bit of stitch witchery. I don't know about you, but I am not a seamstress, and I find it much easier to get an iron and just iron that sucker down. And you want to do it at both ends. You don't need to hem the middle. doesn't matter if you have some little strings that are showing because you're going to be folding that anyway. All right, so you take your piece of material. I've pressed it here just to make it a little bit easier at the edges to fold, and you're going to put the folded side down at the nape of your neck. Here, Tina, if you can help me out here. Okay. Now you're going to take it and you're going to fold it over once on your forehead. And what you're going to try to do is shoot to get the material about an inch over your eyebrows. You're going to bring it around to the back, and you're going to tie it once. Perfect. There you go, Tina. Great. I'd like to point out something, by the way. Usually you do this in front of a mirror, and it's so much easier to do in front of a mirror than Absolutely. doing it to a camera. <laughs> so you found this pretty simple, right? Pretty simple. Great. Absolutely. And I want to point out, look, not even in front of a mirror, you got this just about perfect. So it's really simple to do. Try to get it a little bit above the middle of your ear, so you've got some ears showing, and this material is so easy to work with, so you can always kind of mush it around a little bit. And we're nice on our height there. Okay, the next step is the only tricky part, and you've heard about men doing a comb over. Well, I call this part the tug over, and this is why you put the fold at the nape of your neck, because you want to have the open pieces up here on top. You're going to separate them, and Tina, if you would reach up here, and you have to hold the side of it down, and then take the inner part, and you can grab it with your other hand, and you're going to tug it over while holding it in place. There you go. Give me one more nice tug. That should do it. Okay. So I'm going to do this for her since she's not in front of a mirror. And you just kind of mush it in. One of the really nice things about Dupioni Silk is that it's very lightweight. In the summertime, it's cool. And in the wintertime, it's actually warm. Okay, let's see how that works great. All right. Now, if you could turn to the back here so I could show them. You've got your two edges. And remember that I said you might want to take them off a little bit in length before you use the hem tape. 
Now this one's a little bit longer than this one, so I'm going to take it and I'm just going to tuck it right under here. It's a lot easier to do on yourself, believe me. And it's going to make kind of a pretty little chignon kind of look. There we go. Get that tucked in there. Perfect. All right, and this is the shorter one. I'm just going to stick that one in right here. Voila. If you could turn to the back. See how pretty this is in the back? All right. Now you could leave it this way, which is a really elegant, nice look for daytime, for evening. But I like to go a step further and put an accent wrap on. So Tina told me that when it comes to accent material that she is not a floral kind of gal, nor mm -hmm. gingham, neither am I. <laughs> so we chose kind of a really cool looking, looking material here that has a really pretty blue in it that goes with the base wrap. And it also has some blacks in it, some browns, a little cream. So this is going to be going with the majority of her wardrobe. Now one of the nice things about your accent wrap is, remember how I said that the bolts come in 44 inches in width? Well, that's going to be the length of your accent wrap because you're only going around your head one time with this. And I like to purchase just 15 inches uh, to, be your, to be your width. So you've got the 44 inches in length, the 15 inches in width, and that's going to be plenty. You fold it in thirds, and then I like to take it and pull it kind of tight to make it even a little bit thinner. And I'm going to start with the center of it over here on the side of Tina's head. If you put it in the front, you're going to end up wrapping the pretty part in the back, and I want it to show up on the side and be kind of a little boof here. So we're going to start with that right there on the side. When you wrap it around the front, you want to make sure that you still have this blue base wrap underneath it, so you can see that. And I'm going to make sure I'm low enough here. Good. How are you doing, Tina? Great. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Okay, and we're just going to do one little tie there. Would you turn to the side and show them what I just did? Just one little tie. And then you just take, I, oh, I also hem taped the edges of these as well. I do what I call the S tuck. And that is I take it and just tuck it in. It's kind of in a, in a little S shape there. I have a little string. I'm just going to throw that under there. And then I'm going to take this and do the same thing. A little tuck just like that. Let's see how we look there. Very, very pretty. Okay, let me look from the front. Nice, pretty good without a mirror. All right, so I'd like to show them from the back if you would. Okay, see how pretty this looks from the back? And now from the side, and now from the front. So that's how you do the basic wrap. Uh, the book is called That's a Wrap, 29 Easy and Elegant Head Wrapping Styles for the Tressless Chemo Babe. It's available in almost all ebook formats, or you can get it on my website, which is headwrapbook.com. Thanks so much for joining us today. Happy wrapping. <laughs>